Our next caller is Pierre from Canada. Hey, Pierre, how can we help you? Uh, hi, guys. Uh, so I've been uh, training full body for the last uh, few months, and I've seen some growth in my calves for the first time. And I've been doing uh, full body two, three times a week. And I've been doing uh, kind of tr trigger sessions on the off days where I would always do calf raises. But now, since for the last few months, I've also had pain in my left, uh, my left foot and the ball of my foot. I'm guessing possibly metatarsalgia, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which kind of aggravates my foot. Usually, I've been able to do calf raises anyways and just kind of push through the pain. But I'm never, uh, I've never been able to properly recover, and it still kind of hurts every so often. So I don't want to have chicken legs and I do want my calves to keep growing. So is there something I can do an alternate to calf raises to train my, train my calves? Yeah, we, 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 first we need to uh, solve this issue because if you just keep pushing through, it's going to get uh, worse and worse. So there's a couple things you can look at. One is to, to look and see if you can work on the fascia on the bottom of your foot. Yeah, so a lacrosse what, ball. Yeah, so you can get like a lacrosse ball or a baseball, like a hard, small ball of some sort, and you kind of roll it under your foot, especially in the arch of the foot, and loosen up kind of the muscles and the fascia there. So that's one thing you could do. We sell those at mindpumpstore.com. We have them there. Okay, yeah. perfect. So, so focus on that. The second thing I would do is I would work on the articulation of your toes. Do you have MAPS Prime Pro by any chance? I do not. Okay, so we have some movements in there. We'll send that over to you. But like there's toe piano would be a good one just to get the articulation of the toes. And then I would work on the tibialis muscle, which is the muscle on the shin. So rather than doing like a where you lift your heel off the ground, what you're doing is you're standing on your heels and you're lifting the top of your foot off the ground, literally working the opposite side uh, of your shin. So the calf is on the back, the tibialis is on the front. And oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes, Pain in the foot or in the shin or tends to be an imbalance between the calf and the tibialis. So I would start strengthening the tibialis to see if that makes a difference. And then I would lay off calf raises just for a little while or at least not do trigger sessions for the calves to allow that to heal a little bit because it sounds like it's already you know a bit of an issue. Pierre, have you, um, have you played with uh, BFR training at all? Uh, BFR training? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, blood flow restriction. Sorry, say again? So, uh, BFR training, blood flow restriction. That's what that is. No, oh, okay, sorry. No, I have no I've never tried that before. So this this would be this would be a great supplemental thing that I would I would add into what you're doing. So, uh maybe it is to Sal's point that you've just got to overdoing it a little bit and one of the ways you can back off is by backing off with BFR. So BFR, and we actually have a guide on this. So when we send over the Prime Pro, Doug can send over the BFR guide for you also. <laughs> Um, and it teaches you how to do that. You use like, uh, you know, 80% less of the load. So there's not a lot of, there's not gonna be a lot of stress on the feet while you do it. And it's going to give a, give your calves a massive pump and it will stimulate some growth. So it's a great way to complement my calf training, especially if I'm noticing that I'm getting like stuff, my shins or my feet are bothering me because I'm probably mm -hmm. hitting them so hard too often. One of the ways that I can back off with, and still train them is to introduce BFR training once or twice a week instead of regular loaded training. Okay. So that sounds some, great. Yeah, I'd, I'd add that. But I definitely think that the the number one place is that lacrosse ball first. I've had similar uh, – I've, I've felt this like what I think you're describing. Um, and one of the ways that I would prime before I start my workout is doing the stuff from Prime Pro that Sal's talking about and then doing the lacrosse ball and rolling your foot over there. And I believe – we have a YouTube video on that. I think I've done the YouTube video on that one on our Mind Pump TV. Yeah, so you want to basically work on the muscles of the foot, mm -hmm. right? And just on getting them connected and getting them a little stronger. So like there's toe piano is one movement in Prime Pro. Short foot Short is foot, another movement. Squats, yeah, yeah. And you, you just want to kind of strengthen the foot a little bit because you're working your calf. So, you know, you think of the foot and you think of it as just an extension of the calf. But the foot is covered in muscles on the bottom, and you start strengthening the calf muscle. But if you have an imbalance with the muscles of the foot, then you're going to start to run into some problems. Most people get pain in the arch of their foot, but sometimes you see it in the ball of the foot as well. Mm -hmm. And it's just—it's usually just an imbalance, and you need to kind of back off and strengthen the foot 
a little bit before you bet you move back into calf raises. Okay. All right. All that right, man. Great. Thanks for calling in. Thank you guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we appreciate it. No, nobody ever thinks of that, right? They never yeah. think of the, the, the foot or even the hands having tons of muscles, right? We think oh, of yeah. the calves, maybe the forearms, but you know, the, I mean, if you look at an anatomy picture of the bottom of a foot, it is covered in muscle. Yeah. It's completely covered in muscle. Well, you know, have you ever seen those sandals too that have the little prongs yeah. on them? And so it's just, that's just another way that like it shows you how much more you can stimulate the bottom of your feet and get them to respond. But then to take that to the next level, what we have in Prime Pro, we have so many different movements specifically for the foot and the ankle, you know, that just need some attention and, and really to, to devote time to that is going to help a lot. Yeah. This screams to me like underdeveloped muscles in your feet and then overdoing your calf raises. Mm -hmm. So waking them up with a lacrosse ball. I mean, I would love to see the, let's see him do some like barefoot training or incorporating that. Like, I don't know what level he's at, so I wouldn't go right. from maybe nothing to all. Might sudden, be too much now. Yeah. Right? It might be too much. So maybe start this, like he should start with some barefoot walking around and stuff doing starting to incorporate with barefoot training i think would help him out but i i think sal you hit it on the head with the lacrosse ball and then prime pro stuff i think that i think what he feels right now is he's trying to hit his calves all the time like crazy and he has weak ass feet yeah. so that's his yeah. limiting factor is his feet are weak he has a poor connection there address that get stronger feet and then the calves will come up in the meantime the bfr training is a nice segue as he backs off the, the heavy loading all the time, he could still keep up the frequency with the with the BFR while he also addresses his weak feet. 